Hey guys, I've got something unusual to show you today. Not a watch, but a clock. So I wanted not to have my phone by my bedside table anymore in my bedroom while I'm sleeping because it's such a huge distraction. I will go to a wee at night and I'll pick up my phone and start looking for Casios on eBay. Absolutely mind-bogglingly stupid. And I will do that constantly. And I will go to bed, dream about Casios. Goodness me. Anyway. I thought I need an alarm clock with a clock, but I didn't want a plug in one. I just wanted a traditional clock that the hands glow up in the dark and you got a good alarm. And I searched Casio alarm clocks and up come this one. And I was quite impressed by it. It's good size. And this is how you set the alarm. You lift it up before you go to bed. And once you've finished, once the alarm goes off, you put it back down simple as that and to set the alarm it's basically so this is the hands here obviously you know that and is oh by the way also it's got um a well time and so here is um london so if you wanted to know um hong kong the time you just move the dial over to where it says hong kong that is the time in hong kong if you wanted to know um, New York, did you hear the alarm go off there? Let me, let me move my alarm, so I want to hear you hear the alarm. So I'm going to move it a little bit forward. Oh. You can only do the alarm one way. Oh, look at that! Let's do that again. So what is it for? That's how loud it goes. And once you wake up, do a little tap. Absolutely beautiful. Let me set the um, time back again. So what is it? Back to London. And that's the correct time. Yeah, so set the alarm, it's basically here. Just move it around. It's not too accurate though, so you've got to guess. So, and you can only do it one way. So if you wanted to get up at 12 o'clock, you can put it one little handle for 12. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four. So that's every, so you've really got to guess the time really. So if you wanted to go for half 12, we'll be there, quarter past 12 will be there so do you know what i mean so this is like every 12 minutes you've got five yeah it's pretty cool isn't it um you've got a little dial there where it shows the sunshine let me move it over and i'll just show you so that's at the moment is night time and as you cross over you see the little dial there where it moves over to um Sunrise or sunshine. Let's put it back. And all the way you all you do that, just move this little dial like this. So what is it? Um, Nine forty-four. No. Uh -uh. Nine forty-four. So let's get this precisely on the time. Oh my god. There we are, perfect. And yeah, so, um, let's, and the, if you're gonna set the alarm, you just put it back to, um, let's say half six. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It takes one AA battery as well, which is in here. And that's it. It's quite unusual, I quite like it. Nice little alarm clock. What do you think of it, guys? And, it's a nice Casio box as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. By the way, if you want the name of it, it's called TQ-131U-1. Pretty amazing. What else have I got to show you? I do have something else to show you. I'll show you it now as I'm here. Do you remember these? Casio TV watches. 
I say a little clear out today. What do I mean a clear out? I mean a tidy up, and I have a tidy up every single day. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a shame because in the UK, we don't have the tuning stations to tune analog TV anymore. They're just not around. So we, don't, we can't have that. But um, yeah, this is it. And um, it's got an arrow here to get reception. There's no batteries in it for me to show you working. And um, this will come out and it will stand like this. And it's a shame because it'd be nice to have a little tiny TV when you're out and about. And I suppose we just got digital now and it, this, this won't pick up digital TVs. Which is an absolute shame. That's that. When I was younger, I used to use these quite a lot. Especially at work. Let's put this inside here. Close it off. Pretty good, got the instructions as well in there. Nice clean box. Oh, this. It's not in very good condition, but I bought this on eBay the other day. Um, all I wanted was the box because it's very unusual to get the sleeve on one of these. This is the old Casiotron from um, 1977 or 78, one of the two. But I did read online, so let me just get it out and show you. Look how pristine this box is. Beautiful, isn't it? But it perfectly seamed all the way around. Look at how, how the maiden back then is so amazing. So I only really bought it for the box. For the box is very unusual. And look, when you open it up, you've got this beautiful cushion here. This is the watch that came with it. It's an old Casio Tron. But what's unusual about it is it's gold. And they never really made them in gold. Um, well, they did actually after that. But this is probably the first one they made in gold. And I did open the back. And it's had a major battery leakage. And it's pretty horrible inside there. I may do a video um, restoring it. If I want to restore it, I don't think I do. Because it's a bit discoloration here as well. I'm not really sure what they made these out of back then. But it's really nice though. It's quite it's a pretty cool watch. I like, the, I like the design of it and it looks it's a really good size. And it also came with a manual look. And inside the manual came um, this. So 1978 that is before I was born. Bloody crazy. Guernsey. I buy a lot of watches and they've got receipts with um, Guernsey in it. How strange. Maybe that's when they opened the first Casio store up there. God no. Yeah, it's crazy to think this is 45 years old. And look at this book, how just pristine it is. 45 years old. The box is 45 years old. This is 45 years old. And it's super rare to find um, the box for these. But I do know somebody who has got one of these watches in really lovely condition. So if I buy the watch and I've got the box, the box with the gold sleeve, you've got yourself a nice little timepiece there and a good bit of history. This is the only little crease bit on here, but it's only like a bit of crease. But don't forget, this is 45 years old. Bloody crazy. Madness. Super cool. Um, I do have something else to show you. Um, shall I show you it now? Shall I show you it another day? I'm going to give this a little clean up as well. This is um, a CMD. I actually forgot. CMD 10. And it's quite a nice condition. I've also got, um, 
I'll do it. I'm not going to tell you everything I have. I'm going to do a video of them all combined. So I won't tell you too much there, but this is this one here. And I'll do a separate video on this. I'm just showing you now. TV remote control, this is, by the way. This is this one here. And everyone's keep asking about, about G-Shock. So I, I thought I'd buy a few G-Shocks. And I bought this one the other day. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek on it. And tell me what you think. So I looked at G-Shocks. And I thought, mm, they are quite nice. Some of them are quite nice. But I'm quite partial to the yellow ones. So I bought, I bought a yellow one the other day. And I bought this one as well. Brand new. We've got an opening somewhere. There we are. What do you think of this? I quite like it. I like the yellow. The yellow and the grey, I think, looks bloody lovely. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Uh, people keep mentioning G-Shocks. Am I going to feature G-Shocks? Do I like G-Shocks? Why well, don't I like G-Shocks? It's not that I don't like them. It's just not really for me. But I do like this one. And I'm just experimenting in buying a few. Um, I like this little red thing they've got here, the red stay. And it's got a good light. I think the light is down here. Nice, isn't it? It's okay. It's okay. It's lovely. I'm going to do a separate video on that. I'm going to have a little play, wear it tomorrow, have a little play around with it. And um, I'll let you know my thoughts on it. But let me know your thoughts as well. If you don't want me to feature G-Shocks, then um, I won't. But I've got to cater for everybody. People are saying, oh, I like G-Shocks. Can you feature some? Stick it back in his box. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to so far this week. By the way, guys, did you watch the video I done yesterday about the restoration of this? Do you like it? Yeah, if you've not seen it, it's the video from yesterday. Go and have a watch. It's quite um it's a long video, but you may learn something about you know taking watches apart tools and stuff like that um what i think else to show i don't think i've got anything else to show you probably not probably not um yeah that's it let's call it a day hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching